Hey folks, Daniel Carfix here, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the IWE check valve. It's something I found out I needed to replace on my truck. And uh, this is the new valve. This is a new valve that I got. I'll leave the description of the part uh, down in the description section. But the reason I'm replacing this valve is because on my truck, I got this truck used, it's a 2015 F-150, and I was hearing some grinding noise coming from the uh, front hub, and I couldn't really figure out what it was, and it wasn't intermittent. It wasn't on all the time, it, it would go on and off, that grinding noise. Then I did some research online, and I found out that uh, it could be, uh, there was a great probability that it was the IWE check valve. And what it does, it disengages and engages the front hub on a four wheel drive truck. And it's a vacuum based system. So this valve goes here. So this is the old valve. And I can see it's the old model. It's not the revised model because it's the, the actual valve is white. And it's attached to the solenoid that engages and disengages the system. So this is what we're gonna replace. It's really simple. You, you really don't need any tool. Um, one thing that I found out, you can replace just a valve if you want, but just a valve, it's almost the price of the whole assembly. So I just bought the whole new assembly. So let's, let's get this done. So one of the consequences of not replacing the valve and leaving the wheel potentially grinding the IWE is that it could end up to a much more expensive fix, right? This is an inexpensive fix. This valve is going to be $20 with shipping between $15 to $20, $21. And uh, if you damage your front hubs of the IWE, that's a $600, $700 uh, repair. So it's certainly uh, much better to replace just the valve and plus I find out this I found out this is actually a maintenance item um, in certain period of time I'm sure five six years probably this valve is gonna go bad anyway so this is something you want to replace in a 4x4 uh, F-150 but after we replace you know I'm just gonna take it for a ride anyway and just make sure that everything is working and uh, and possibly that the noise has has gone like I said replacing the valve is really simple you need no tools you can just pop this out carefully right you're gonna pull this tube out and this tube out this one came out easily and here at the bottom at the solenoid you're gonna pull it out. Just pull it out carefully. Sometimes these are gonna be really stuck. Just make sure you pull them out carefully so you don't break the solenoid connection. And it came out. And that's, it's that simple. So, I'll get the new valve. Here it is. I'm gonna connect the valve here. Just press it all the way in. And this one goes here. Just make sure you, you really press it in as much as you can. And now the bottom one goes here. Same thing, just, just hold the back of the solenoid connection, make so you don't break it as you press it. Make sure it goes all the way in. It's really flush. Now it's all the way in. Now I'm gonna snap this in. And, and this is it. Like I said, it's really simple. Now there's one last thing that we need to do. So the last step is, once you've replaced the valve, you just wanna make sure that the four wheel drive is engaging and disengaging properly. So I'm gonna turn on the truck. And I'm just, I'm just gonna cycle through the four by four. Uh, just make sure that it's working. Just gonna observe it in a panel. Yes, my hood is AJR, thank you. So, four high is engaged. Now I'm just gonna engage four low. Uh, 
okay and it worked so for a low yep it's working so let's go back for high and two-wheel drive okay so the the system is working now let's take it for a ride okay so let's see if the grinding noise is still happening it it used to happen mostly when I uh, would turn like this uh, so I'm gonna make a turn here and then when I accelerated from dead stop or a very slow speed like this then I would hear the grinding noise for a moment um, so in my case it wasn't a strong grinding noise it was just a slight grinding noise I'm not hearing it now I'm sure that I'll know that once I drive a little bit more of the truck but I'm optimistic that this solved the problem and it wasn't a solenoid or something more expensive um, all right we'll see I hope you like this video I hope this was useful um, and if you like it give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing thank you